You all knew this day was coming eventually. The letter tier list. I don't know why it's SS. I, I had a seizure. 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 The letter tier list. Now, as we all know, letters, they're fundamental to the English language, right? Without them, we could not speak. We could not comprehend words in the way we do right now without these, right? What was the fucking Greeks, the Italian, the Romans? Whoa, are we speaking, are we speaking Romanian? Russian? Italian? I don't know. I don't know who created these. I think it's the Greeks. Pretty sure, maybe. And then, then the English made it very simple. So we're doing a letter tier list of the English alphabet. If you do not see your, your, um, your favorite letter here, I'm sorry, you do not speak the same language. Um, how are you watching this video? Are the closed captions good? I hope they are. So, we're starting it out. I will be ranking these based off of their versatility, their utility. How, how, just, if the letter was gone, how could the English language survive? And also, how cool is the letter? Right, because there, there's some fucking lame-ass letters here. I'm not even gonna lie. Anyways, starting off strong with A. Now, I want you to think of literally any sentence of three or more words. And it's really difficult to create like a cohesive, like a simple, understandable, common, everyday man uh, sentence without the use of A. Right? If A were gone, I don't think that I could even say what I'm saying right now, right? Like... Every single, every single conversation will have A show up probably the most. I don't know the numbers. Like, it's between A and I. But I think A is, like, really up there. And for that, I'm putting A in the S tier. Starting it off strong. Um, and in fact, I think it's the top of S tier. A is so fundamental. There, there's a reason why being an alpha is the top, Right? Because everyone understands the power, the incredibility of the letter A. On to letter B. Um, hmm. Well, looking at B, like, I think all of the, the B, D, P, Q letters are pretty lame. Like, they're all kind of copy and paste. So I don't, I don't think that it could be any higher than the B tier. Um... Okay, I think I think B has some some pretty fun words that it can be added to, like it can be added to like bruh, it's funny. Um, it can be added to like but, and it's like lol funny but. Although like thinking beyond that, I mean it's got like because beautiful, but like those aren't like like even aesthetically pleasing words, right? I'm thinking like B B feels kind of mid, right? It's just not a. It's just not as good as as A. Simply put. Now we have C. And C is kind of a bully. Really, when you think of like all the combinations that C has, right? C can com combine with like C H to make ch, or C L to make cl, or I mean, fuck. It could probably combine with with fucking. J, G. It, it had, um, I've seen I've seen some words with like C in, and like what the fuck, that shouldn't be allowed. C and also, C is just like, it's just S and K. Like it combines the two sounds. It can be an S. It can be a K, or it can just be a C, or whatever else it wants to be. Right. I. I think that there's, there's a certain power held within C. I I think C is S tier worthy. I know it's really early and we have two S tiers, but like really, the C is just like A and C appearing so early is is incredible. Okay, now we're on to D. And hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Like D D's got some pretty funny words, but it doesn't like combine with anything super well, right? Um, I'm trying to think of like any words or any letters that like D can like combo with really really well. I think like D E is a pretty common like combination, like like hide, bide, tie, shit like that. 
But like other than that, like nothing really. Um, I think it's pretty funny whenever you like type out like DB in like uh fuck. What's the what's what's the word? Um headbutt. Like if you type out headbutt, like D and B are kinda like standing together like like buddy cop type shit. So I might put D and C tier. Because like it kinda feels like like it's better than like actually not better, but like I think that it's using like the same rate as B and also it's really funny just seeing them together like friends okay on to E um I don't think a single one of the vowels can be lower than uh, C tier so I'm just gonna get that out of the way E every like a good portion of all of our words have E in it just like A granted that's like every vowel but like E is such a like a, a team player right if you if you have an e after any vowel, that vowel instantly gets like a buff and just becomes so much cooler. E can end a letter. It can sometimes even start a letter. Like an excellent e is like one of the very few letters that can like combo with x pretty consistently. It just it just works. The A is cool, the E is cool, got the funny Markiplier. Um, I'm thinking A tier for E. Not 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 S tier, because A is an S tier, and I don't think E is on the same level as A in just terms of like versatility, combo, like that. But like, you know. Okay, now we got F. And first off, F, first letter of fuck. So instant. Instant E tier at least. Speaking of, why is an E tier even here? Hang on. Instant points gone for E. Actually, yeah, no, we're just gonna keep E in A tier. Simply for the, for the simple fact that, like, no one even touches the E tier ever. I don't know why E tier ever, is ever, like, default. Um, okay, anyways, on to F. Um, I mean, F has, like, some good combos, right? Like, not really, though. Like, really thinking about it, like, it, it combos with, like, FR pretty, pretty well. FL is, is fairly common. Um, but beyond that, like, nothing, nothing too insane. Um, it's got some cool words, like I said. It's got, like, fuck. It's got fight. Um, if you're, like, spamming your keyboard, like, F will some, will, like, more likely than not appear. You know, like, F, Um, hmm. I think, like, the more I think about it, F feels like an, a D tier um, letter. Like, it's not even necessary, technically, because if you put PH together, it just creates the F sound. For some reason. Just F. For, for, for no reason. On to G. Um, I think G is one of the more lackluster letters. Like, it's, it feels like it's on the same tier as as D, right? If, if G were to go away, well, I guess, like, it combos with H well. But I think that's more onto H's attributes rather than rather than G. Like, hmm. If G were gone, we wouldn't be losing that much, right? Like, I'm think, trying to think of like G-centric letters like give. I mean, we have more words to replace give. And plus it's like, it's sound is just like combining G, U, and H. So it's not even like I like has its own identity in the same way that like A and A does or E. Like E's its own thing. Uh C less so it can be typed out as like S E A. But like C also just creates the sound of S, right? So I'm gonna put G in controversially, it's not F tier necessarily. But it, it does feel like a like a D tier letter. Not really that great. If it were to be gone, I would not mind. Uh, I mean, it, it also like what the what the act what the fuck is even going on here, huh? No one writes a G like that, but we all just understand it as G, which is crazy. Kind of looks like a, like a penis, like a ball, ball, dick. It's crazy. Anyways, on to H, and I'm gonna do some H glazing right here. H is one of the most perfect letters. There is very few letters, and that's what, this is on the part of the letter, that doesn't combine with K, um, H very well. Got CH, TH, 
S H K H. Oh fuck, you got P H. Got um, like even like Rhode Island. How the hell did how how does R combo with H? And then, like, it's such an irreplaceable sound. Like, hate like. Thinking thinking of it like. You, you got like check or shek or thek or tech. Like, hmm. plus you got like high. Like, I'm just looking right here. You got high. Um, S tier. Like, a H is irreplaceable to be, to me. On to I. Um, again, one of the vowels. Cornerstone vowel. I mentioned this before, but I appears a lot. In like the average day-to-day -day conversation, like you can, you probably can go a day, have gone days without without V, W, X, Y, and Z. Like these are frauds. May, probably maybe even Q. I I could see you going a day without saying without like even thinking of the letter Q. But H is so fundamental to everything that even the word thing has H in it. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not glazing H. Sorry, I just completely forgot. Um, <laughs> everything has I in it as well. Um, you think about, like, whenever you're talking about yourself, it's I. It's, it's, like, first has I in it. Second doesn't have I. You have to go to third place for I. And so the fact that, like, it's so self-centered and low-key kind of a, a solo player. It's, like, it's pretty selfish. But I think that's a testament to, like, just the, the tendency of the letter. I think I, hmm, S tier? Maybe not. Maybe it's top of A tier. Because it isn't a very good team player. On to J. Um, it starts the, the hardest bar in the alphabet. H, I, J, K, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. That's pretty fire. Actually, no, it's, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P. So like it doesn't even do that. That's pretty lame, actually. Hmm. Trying to think. J. It it doesn't even like have its own identity. It's kind of just like a like a an, a taller I, which is cool. But I is like so fundamentally recognizable that just like trying to replicate its flow is a little weird. Doesn't really have like the best combos with letters. Doesn't like I can think of like off the top of my head like a letter that J just like combos so well with it kind of disappears, but not not very often even either. Like whenever I see J in a like a a word, I'm like wow J appeared. Right, it's kind of like a, like sidelined a lot, and it's it's not like cool to look at either. So I, I think now we do have our first F tier, J, the most useless letter ever. Nope. We just got to it. The most useless letter ever. K. Because everything K does, C does. There's not a single thing. In fact, when K appears in most words, it's followed by C. For no reason either. Like, C makes that sound to begin with. On its own. But K is just there. Um, so... I'm gonna put K in. I'll put it in the D tier. It does. It does appear with C a lot, so it kind of like it create makes a word look better, like aesthetically. Like think about like the word like check. It's it's just the easiest word for me to think of. Like that looks cool as fuck. Or con. Excuse me. The K H is being insane. Um. So, I'll put K in D tier because it does have, like, some cool appearances. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I think it's, like, it's mid. It's mid. I'll put it in mid tier. L. Um, first off, instant points. Whenever someone loses, spamming L is pretty awesome. And, th okay, thinking about it, L does appear quite a lot. It, it appears in, like, the most commonly said word, like. Whenever you're, you're stuttering... For some reason, from some psychological reason, L is just the first one to come to mind. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's like kind of mid though. Um, it, it combos with letters like pretty well. C 
clean, it appears, sleek. It's got like please. Um, more thing about it. Hmm. Is it is it a tier? I don't know. It just doesn't feel fundamental enough. Like if L were gone, we could survive. As opposed to like the A tier letters, where we would probably watch society break down all over the place. On to M. Um, it's pretty iconic. I I think all of the simpler letters, where it's just like a couple lines, hold a special place in a lot of people's hearts. And M is, it's pretty hard to replicate. But it's not like so fundamental or versatile. It doesn't it doesn't combo with a lot of stuff, but it just works. When M is like like present, you're like, damn, that's a word. But if it's like, it doesn't appear too often. It's kind of like the like sidelined a lot. But hmm, for its sidelining, I'm gonna put it in put it in B's here. But it is still pretty good. Um, N is just the cooler cousin of N. Um, like every everything has N in it. To some degree. Like think about it like like nerd, you won't insult someone, you gotta use you gotta use N. Um Nickelodeon, one of the more consistent cartoon places, has an N in it. Cartoon Network, literally the, the goat of cartoons until it fall off, has an N in it. Fucking has an N in it. It's it's really really good, but not as good as H. So I'll, I'll keep it in A tier. Plus, it's kind of just like an H if you give it a little shave. So I don't know. On to O. Um, it's round. Looks like zero. A lot of people abbreviate like decimals um, by saying O point O O, which is pretty cool. Points to points to zero. Um, it, it, it's a letter in no, which is very, very good. Very versatile word. Um, it's present in like, like dot com. Dot com could not exist without O. Dot co could not exist without O. Google could not exist without O. And like, just like you see someone who is stunning. What's your first response? Ooh. Yeah, n enough said. Enough said. Got the achoos here. <laughs> what the? F I indirectly made the achoos here. This is awesome. Okay, on to P. Um, first letter of penis. So lol. First letter of poop. Lol. But other than that, like it doesn't really do all that much. It creates like the F sound, which is like points to it. So I I can I can see it like mid. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. I just remembered. If you put a like a, a colon and then a P, it looks like a funny face, like you're just trolling. So B tier. It's not it's not good, but it's just funny. Q um cannot exist without U really. Like in general English, Q needs support to work, but when it works, it works pretty well. Like. Like the word queen, the band queen, um, th their name would not be as iconic if it wasn't for that big Q. And when it's big, it's like a, it's like an O, but somewhat cooler. So for edgy O, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put P in the B tier. R O okay, R is fun to say, right? Like think about some goofy words like rotund hilarious humorous um works with a lot of what letters very well cr sr tr i mean if like the word rare has um r at the start so you just see it a lot like all over the place um it's very irreplaceable as well it has its own unique little sound and it's got a somewhat unique build if you ignore the fact that it's like an unfinished in um it's not its own unique shape so i'm not gonna put it in a tier but i think or s tier sorry but i think a tier is very fitting like it's for such a cool letter and like it carries over to a lot of languages as well plus like rolling your r is pretty fun i can't do it right now because my throat is really dry but like if i could that'd be that'd be hype 
S is very iconic. I'm sure in middle school, high, um, early high school, we've all drawn that little S where it's like the lines are all connected. I did. I haven't, but I'm assuming it's a common thing because a lot of people have. Um, S just works as a letter. It shouldn't because um, C just makes the same sound as S, so you think that'd be points off. But like, S also has its own identity as just like a powerful letter that works in scenarios where C just isn't applicable. It's very splashable. Um, and for splashability, I'm gonna put it in the S tier. Incredible, I know. T, um, let's see here. Uh, what does T have going for it? It, it works with, with H, works with R, works with S, but that that's just the fact that there was just like such good letters to begin with. Like I think not working with them is points off. So hmm. I'm feeling C tier. Like it's, it's not like too remarkable. It's got like a unique sound. Tuh. It, it's, it's cool. So that's like its own kind of identity there. there. There's no like letter that you could like add to ta. I guess you could add T-U-H. Hmm. Hmm. It's not like as tough. Like I think T is kind of fucking goofy. If we're being real. So I'll, I'll put it in C tier. It feels mid to me. You. Um. What's there to say? Like, funny, it's round, it's very easy to write. Every, but everyone has, like, their own way of writing, like, a capital U especially. Some people do no, no stands. Some people do two little lines. Some people do one. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very fundamental when it, like, combos with OU. But it's, it's rare to appear, like, alone. However, it is, like, a vowel. So I, I think it is obligatory B tier. It just defeat. It's like the odd child. Like as you get further down the alphabet, I think the letters drop in viability. But it's still a vowel. It it still like creates words. It's the fundamental of a lot of things. Um, so I'll put it in B tier. Got V. Um. What less is there to say? Doesn't appear much. But it's like, it's fun, it's like, which is, which is cool. So I'll put it in, I'll put it in D tier for like, it's kind of cool. W is like fucking dog shit, like really? Really? The, the letter is W? And the thing is like, most letters at least appear in their like, letter noise like R or L. At some point. But W just doesn't. Well, I guess, like, whenever you say, like, dubs. But no, wait, then you just say dub, bruh. It's even worse than I imagined. It is literally even worse than I imagined. Yeah, F tier. Um, X. Um, it's, it's the edgy emo kid letter i think as you grow x becomes less and less cool doesn't appear in many letters so it only has the cool factor i think since elon musk adopted the x it's like become the cringe weirdo kid thing but it still had his time like the the two strikes i mean it's iconic for like pirates and treasure finding and shit like that i'll put it in d tier it's not f tier but just think it could be an f tier I think Y is the exception to the rule. Y fills two roles as both a consonant and a vowel, which is instant points to it because it's willing to be flexible. It, it's not like any of these others where, like, if you if you have an A, you gen or like an A, it's it's always going to act like a vowel. If you have an N, it's always going to act like a consonant. But Y is willing to be both, or usually neither, and just its own independent noise. It makes things sound cutesy, which is points to it. Um, it appears in a lot of L-Y combinations. It appears just as its own like singular vowel. Um, 
I'm gonna put Y in the S tier. It's it's such a unique build. Like you'd think that specking into two, like both the vowel and the consonant, would be a downside. But like, I mean, it just shows how how important versatility is in the alphabet. And then we have Z. Um, I think Z is the coolest letter ever. It's just there's something so raw about a backwards S. Um, doesn't help with anything though. Um, and I think when like I get fucking annoyed whenever I see like kids spamming Z like easy or like whenever you use z in place of s it just is cringe there's no letters that you really use z if z did what like didn't exist like the alphabet would not change purely design wise i think z is s tier but going off of letter viability it's f tier it's fucking terrible so that's the alphabet tier list the, the long awaited if you have any disagreements, please let me know in the comments down below and create your own alphabet tier list. I would love, I would love to know where you disagree and where you agree. But I think this is pretty solid. I think it's very hard to disagree with some, with like most points. I think the only points of disagreement is like whether the B tiers are A tiers or not. Uh, I think T could could be in B tier. But it just doesn't, like, it's not as good as D or B, so I'm just keeping it in C tier. You know. Anyways, that's, that's the video. That's everything. Goodbye. Go enjoy your day.